As you might have guessed, we feel that the governor's dismissal of Mr. Holland was long overdue. I regret that Mr. Holland did not have the good grace to withdraw when the governor asked for his resignation. Indeed, if he should have resigned a long time ago. Now, as you, you may also recall, we wrote to the governor on two occasions and urged him to ask for the resignation of Mr. Holland, and on those two occasions, he wrote back and said he didn't think it was necessary. Then last week, he did ask for the resignation of Mr. Holland, and Senator Turkey and I again wrote to him and asked him to clarify exactly why he had changed his mind. Uh, was it because of something we had said, or was it, did he have some information which had not been available to us? Now, today we heard from the governor, and the extent of his reply was to enclose a copy of the letter he wrote to Mr. Holland. Now, we're disappointed here. We think that the governor owes a full, owes to the people of Virginia a full disclosure of all of the circumstances which led to, led to his requesting the resignation and ultimately discharging Mr. Holland. 